हरे राम हरे राम राम हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे हरे अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन आस कमंग सीरीज सो टू मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट फेस्टिवल्स ऑफ द ईयर आर गोइंग टू कम जन्माष्टमी एंड श्री व्यास पूजा डे द अपियरेंस डे ऑफ शीला प्रभुपाद सो जन्माष्टमी इज अ वेरी फेमस फेस्टिवल इन आर कंट्री पीपल नॉट जस्ट फ्रॉम सनातन धर्म बट इवन अक्रॉस अदर रिलीजन्स ऑल्सो सेलिब्रेट इट सो मेनी डिवोटीज आर आस्किंग प्रभु कैन यू प्लीज कवर दिस टॉपिक हाउ टू सेलिब्रेट जन्माष्टमी एट होम not everyone is fortunate to spend most of the time in the temple which we can do during the festival so if we are stuck at our own places how do we do it or we might go temple for some time but then at home also are we supposed to do something how do we do it exactly so whenever any question comes in our mind regarding the do's do's and don'ts rules and regulations we have to understand this very important verse mentioned in the scriptures it says स्मर्तव्यम सततम विष्णु विस्मर्तव्यो न जातुचित सर्वे विधि निषेधस्यु एतयोर एव किंकरा देर आर मेनी विधि एंड निषेध मीन्स डूज एंड डोंट्स मेन्शन इन द स्क्रिप्चर्स किंकर मीन्स सर्वेंट सो ऑल द डूज एंड डोंट्स सो मेनी न्यूमरस रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन ऑफ द स्क्रिप्चर्स आर सर्वेंट ऑफ दिस अंडरलाइंग प्रिंसिपल एंड वॉट इज दैट प्रिंसिपल स्मर्तव्यम सततम विष्णु विस्मर्तव्यो न जातुचित दिस डू एंड डोंट इज ऑफ फोर मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑलवेज रिमेंबर कृष्णा दिस इज द डू एंड डोंट इज नेवर फर्गेट कृष्णा so people sometimes they get stuck in the rules and regulations and they forget the ultimate objective so ultimate objective is constant remembrance of krishna this is the most confidential instruction of bhagavad gita also man mana bhav mad bhakto mad dyaji mam namaskaru all the activities that we are doing in our life we should see whether it is increasing my remembrance of krishna or forgetfulness of krishna one should have constant remembrance and one should avoid forgetting krishna even for a moment so anything that we are doing even to observe this festival janmashtami all these rules and regulations should increase our remembrance of krishna and it should help us to avoid forgetfulness of krishna now question comes how do i remember krishna should i sit down at one place and close my eyes and i remember krishna's form yes that is called smaranam but that stage is possible it is attainable when we do two more fundamental processes of navada bhakti very nicely that is shravanam and kirtanam so we should try to do shravanam that is hearing about krishna past times of krishna names of krishna and kirtanam keep on chanting his names or we can do it on our beads or we can do it very melodiously using musical instruments in the company of other devotees so entire day should be filled with shravanam and kirtanam janmashtami uh, बता दीजिएगा थम्स अप कर दीजिएगा लाइव के पहले साउंड साउंड हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे राम हरे राम राम हरे कृष्ण हरे राम हरे राम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे राम सॉरी फॉर द ग्लिच यू कैन म्यूट इट सो वी कैन स्टार्ट उसको इट कैन बी म्यूटेड हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे 
हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे या सॉरी फॉर द ग्लिच सम टेक्निकल डिफिकल्टी विद द सिस्टम सो वी वर डिस्कसिंग व्हाई डू वी सेलिब्रेट जन्माष्टमी सो आई बिकॉज मेजर पोर्शन इज मिस लेट मी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग सो मेनी डिवोटीज वर आस्किंग क्वेश्चन that we are not very fortunate that we can spend entire day in the temple celebrating the festival then how do we do it at our own place or some portion of the day we can spend at temple but at home something needs to be done what needs to be done so please guide us cover this topic coming sunday so when we get confused get overwhelmed by so many rules and regulations mentioned in the scriptures so we have to remember always this one shloka and that is smartavyam satatam vishnu vismartavyo na jatuchit sarve vidhi nishedasyo etayo reva kinkara all the do's it do uh, prabhu this is very hot this can be turned on it's see see So all the do's and don'ts mentioned in the scriptures, they are servants of this underlying principle, and that is smarta vyam satatam Vishnu. Always remember Krishna and never forget Krishna. Now, how do we do it on Janmashmi? Are we supposed to sit entire day thinking about Krishna? If that is possible, yes. But this stage is usually not attainable by us. So there are nine kinds of devotional service in which we can engage in order to attain this constant meditation upon Krishna. and the steps the fundamental steps which are recommended are shravanam and kirtanam so from the day of sunrise now if it's sunrise some people are asking it is on 18th or is it on 19th which day should we follow why this difference is there is this confusion sometimes we celebrate across the year there are some festivals and there is always a confusion so this is because there are two calendars one is called solar calendar another is lunar calendar lunar means as per the motion of the moon it is calculated solar is as per the motion of sun so our time of getting up and sleeping is as per the motion of the sun but the tithis the festivals that we calculate are as per the lunar calendar ashtami the 15 days of waxing moon and waning moon from amavas to purnamasi in this way we are calculating so this ashtami tithi it spans across two days this year 18th and 19th so some people they calculate the time of sunrise at the time of sunrise what is the tithi and some uh, people calculate at the time of sunset what is the tithi so some people want to celebrate the tithi when there is sunrise and some people want to celebrate on the solar day when the tithi is there at the time of sunset so we follow at the time of sunset what is the tithi and that is happening on 19th on 19th when the sun is setting it is actually ashtami tithi that is why we are celebrating on the 19th this year now how do we celebrate as soon as we get up as per our solar day there is sunrise we have to start chanting the names of krishna start chanting and hearing how to do chanting and hearing we can do chanting and hearing on our japa beats or we can do kirtan loudly with the musical instruments accompanied by our friends and family and we should continue performing it till midnight of course in between you can take bath and do other things you can cook also very nicely for krishna but we should not eat so there are various grades of uh, celebrating the festival the top most is from the time of uh, brahm mohurta early in the morning we start engaging in chanting and hearing and if you are doing deity worship at your house then you can have very nice abhishekam ceremony also the link is posted in the description you can please follow that video and if you have deities you are doing it you can offer nice abhishekam to the lord so as you get up in the morning you can do nice deity worship do mangala aarti if you are not doing deity worship then it does not matter start chanting and hearing start the kirtan process after taking bath in the morning and continue it till midnight so if you get tired chanting the names of krishna on your japa beads then we can start doing with the musical instruments kirtan and then if you get tired doing that then we can read from krishna book the past times of krishna ultimately we have to become absorbed in krishna and shravanam kirtanam is the way shravanam kirtanam can be with musical instruments on our japa beads or it can be 
of the Krishna book, which is summary of Srimad Bhagavatam. So various pastimes of Lord Krishna are mentioned, especially the pastimes of appearance of Krishna, that can be discussed. So one person in the friends, if you are living in the college hostels, they can read or you can take in turns to read it, others can hear. Or if you are living in family, one of the family members can read, others can hear it. In this way, this constant reading can go on till midnight. So the Shravanam Kirtanam is most important. If you are doing it, then it is successful. Now along with Shravanam Kirtanam, we are also supposed to fast from the time of sunrise till the time of midnight, Krishna's appearance. So some people put forth questions, why we are supposed to do fasting? On the day of birth, it is time of feasting. Nobody likes that my friends and family should not eat, rather they should enjoy a party. So why do we actually do it? Because yes, it's a party time. We want to give enjoyment to Krishna. And to give enjoyment to Krishna by engaging in his service, we try to save every second out from our day. That day we try to avoid our jobs unless it is very, very compulsory. We take leave and entire day we are in the temple or at home celebrating this wonderful day engaging in the service of Krishna. So the prime reason for our fasting is not because it will give us some uh, very nice material benefit. Of course it does give, but that is not the intention. Such kind of auspicious fastings are mentioned in the Karma Kanda portion of the Vedas. But Srila Prabhupada did not give such meaning to our fastings. Devotee also is doing the activity which an ordinary Karma Kandi person would do for elevation to higher planets, for getting name, fame, success, recognition, beautiful husband and wife in this life. But that is not the mood of devotee. The mood of devotee is, I am servant of Krishna. Jeeva Krishna Das E Vishwas Karle Tuar Dukho Nai. We have various miseries in our life. All these miseries can be finished in one shot if only I realize I am servant of Krishna. Jeeva Krishna Das E Vishwas. If we have this solid faith, I am eternal servant of Krishna. I have no business in my life save and accept service of Krishna. Karle to ar dukhunai, then there is no misery in life of such a person. So if we cannot realize this perfectly, at least on this day, we try to engage constantly in the service of Krishna. So to engage ourselves constantly in service of Krishna, we try to save time from any sense gratification. And the most important sense gratification is eating, eating and sleeping. So that is why we do fasting and we avoid eating as far as possible. The best is not even drinking water, that is nirjala fasting sunrise till midnight. If we cannot do that, then we can drink water because the most important thing is to engage in the service of Krishna. So some people, they rather prefer sleeping the whole day and fasting. They don't have faith. They think, no, tapasya is important. Taking hardship is important. So it is better to fast and sleep entire day rather than eating and engaging in service of Krishna. But the latter is the better. Because we have to understand Krishna is pleased by his service. Fasting is to save time for serving Krishna. So if our service is uninterrupted, then along with that we should do tapasya fasting also because tapo divyam putrakayen shuddhye sattvam. Our existence cannot be purified unless we take some austerities. So thus we come out of bodily concept of life. We eliminate lust and greed from our heart by voluntarily accepting discomfort, stopping sense gratification. Thus, we do fast also. Fasting should be done to facilitate the seva, not to stop the seva. If in Nirjala fasting we can serve Krishna very nicely, from Brahm Murta till midnight, we should do Nirjala. If drinking water is required, we can drink water. Suppose I am the only person, so many responsibilities are there, I have invited guests and people from the society, or I have some responsible uh, facilities, other services in the temple, then I might have to take uh, some fruits, falahar also, that also I can take, or uh, my service requires so much strength, stamina, that I might need to take non-grain prasadam also. So we should not hesitate to do that, provided our service should go on very, very smoothly. But we should not cheat, because mind can tell, oh, if you don't eat, you will not feel strength. No, that should not be done. We should control the mind, fast as far as possible, but the most important is to engage in service of Krishna. Some people might be very new, recently come in touch with Krishna consciousness, no experience of prior fasting. They might get very much disturbed in mind that they have forgot chanting and hearing itself. Then such a fasting is not good. So fast as far as possible so that Shravanam Kirtanam is not disturbed. Now apart from Shravanam Kirtanam constantly chanting and hearing the name form activities of Krishna 
and uh, again some people take to watching some tv series about krishna so or reading some other books about krishna so that can be avoided because chanting and hearing should be from authorized sources it is told in padma purana sanatan goswami quotes again avaishnava मुखोदीर्ण पूत हरिकृत श्रवण नव कर्तव्य सर्पोचिष्ठा यथा पय द चैंटिंग इन हियरिंग ऑफ द नेम्स ऑफ कृष्णा द कीर्तन ऑफ कृष्णा और द पास टाइम्स ऑफ कृष्णा शुड नॉट बी डन फ्रॉम द माउथ ऑफ अ नॉन डिवोटी दस वी शुड नॉट हियर एनी प्रोफेशनल सिंगर्स भजन और कीर्तन वी शुड मेक श्योर दैट द डिवोटीज ऑफ फूम वी आर हियरिंग कीर्तन और कृष्ण कथा दे शुड बी नाइसली सिचुएटेड इन कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस देन इट विल एक्ट अदरवाइज इट कुड बी वेरी वेरी एंटरटेनिंग दिस बैकग्राउंड बैकग्राउंड म्यूजिक डांस ड्रामा सम टी वी सीरियल्स आर वेरी नाइसली कंपोज बट दे डोंट हैव अ स्पिरिचुअल टच जस्ट लाइक एनी पर्सन कैन ड्रेस हिमसेल अप लाइक कृष्णा जस्ट लाइक पॉन्ड्रक वॉज देयर ही वॉज इमिटेटिंग कृष्णा हैविंग आर्टिफिशियल फोर आर्म्स but having artificial four arms does not make actually a person chaturbhuji or equal to narayan similarly these so called many books describing the activities of krishna or many tv series showing the past times of krishna will not be able to elevate us to spiritual platform unless they are coming in displic succession prabhupada told us the dramas about krishna are very very powerful no need of reading the book if a person is absorbed in drama but such drama should be performed by pure devotees Shila Prabhupada took participation in such dramas, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also was performing similar dramas in association of all the close devotees, pure devotees. So we can. Uh, that is why undergo chanting and hearing about pastimes of Krishna from Krishna book written by Shila Prabhupada. So the link of this book I have given in the description of the video. So all of you can go there, and if you do not have Krishna book already, you can order it. and by the time of janmashtami you should reach your door steps so try to read from this book as many past times as possible throughout the day so read the past times do kirtan entire day as much as possible do fasting also and if you are doing dt worship at home you should serve the dt also you can cook very nice dishes wonderful delicacies for krishna but we should not eat that at least grain prasadam should be avoided at all cost if we are very very weak we have never fasted take non grain kind of prasadam but grain prasadam should never be taken but you can offer very nice grain prasadam for krishna krishna should not be made to fast we can honor these prasadam the next day on that day we can offer very nice things decorate very nicely the altar of krishna have nice leaves flowers decorate entire house if not possible the altar of krishna cook very nice things for krishna keep on offering him entire day offer a new dress to krishna and you can do abhishekam to krishna also any time of the day it is not compulsory that midnight only i have to do midnight if there is temple around your place go and participate in the temple along with the devotees the temple deity should be center of our life but sometimes when devotees don't live around the temple we recommend they keep their own deities also so if you have your own deities and you can visit temple also you do abhishekam to your deities and how to do abhishekam the link is there in the description and it could be as simple as offering purified water to the lotus feet of krishna and could be as elaborate as we have given in the description as per your capacity you can do it so any time of the day you can do abhishekam you can do it in the morning early morning you can do it in the afternoon you can do it in the evening time any time you feel comfortable as many times you feel comfortable does not matter and the midnight please try to spend with the devotees especially after 10:30 the festivities would start if you can render seva in the temple that is very good at least go and participate 10:30 or 11 o'clock onwards the main abhishekam ceremony would start and go until midnight or 12:30 in the morning so in this way by chanting and hearing constantly we'll be able to have constant remembrance of krishna by fasting we save time so that we can do more and more shravanam our chanting and hearing becomes very very potent and powerful and easy if we do fasting on that day but it is to save time and to do little austerity not at the cost of seva and deities if we have at our own places we should offer very nice dishes for krishna do very nice elaborate cooking as much as possible offer new nice dress to krishna and we can also do abhishekam ceremony in this way we can celebrate janmashtami festival so now we can take some more questions if you have you can please start posting 
or something which is not related to festival, such questions also can be taken. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram. Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Bharti ji, Hare Krishna, Sonali, Kumar, Krishan ji, Rain ji, Prem, Kishori ji, Manjushri ji, Hare Krishna, Ayush Poonam ji, Vinaya, Kanjana, Mohan, Krishan ji, Hare Krishna, Angad Yogesh ji, Parveen ji, Hare Krishna, Thakur Kalyani, Yogesh ji, Hare Krishna. How to do Puja Abhishek? I just shared the link. You can please follow the link in the description. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, have a deity of Lord Vishnu. Can Abhishekam be offered? Yes, Abhishekam can be offered to deity of Lord Vishnu. Any deity if you have. The link I have shared in the description. Sachin Ji, Hare Krishna. Manjana Ji, Hare Krishna. How do we maintain spiritual strength when we are not having devotee association? Hare Krishna. Yes. So without association of devotees, we cannot maintain spiritual strength. What is strength actually? Just like when you eat food, that is energy. We get physical energy that gets transformed. Similarly, we need spiritual food to get spiritual energy and that comes from association. So without devotee association, we cannot have spiritual strength. But sometimes, despite our desire, if we are not able to have association of devotees physically, then always we can take advantage of various kinds of association that mercifully Krishna has given to us. There is no difference between the person of Krishna, the name of Krishna. Similarly, there is no difference between the devotees of Krishna, like Srila Prabhupada, and his activities and his instructions. So if we are very, very strictly following the instructions, then we are associating in person with Krishna and his devotees. So be very strict in following the rules and regulations. If we are alone, in that manner we can be saved. But it will not be able to advance much without the association of devotees. So for some point of time we might get stuck, just like devotees were arrested, they were put in jail. Now there is no devotee association, what they can do? So they would chant entire day, they would try to discuss the pastimes if they find somebody. They try to preach in jail also. This is most important instruction. Chant in here and then preach this knowledge to others as far as we have realized. So in this way, if you follow the basic rules and regulations, chanting 16 rounds, following the four regulative principles, reading, hearing every day, taking only Krishna Prasadam, preaching, explaining this knowledge or spreading these books to others as much as possible. In this way, by very strictly following the rules and regulations, we still keep association with the devotee with spiritual master and Krishna. But executing it is very, very difficult without association. So thus, please try to come to devotee association as soon as possible. When, despite our best efforts, Krishna may test us by force of circumstances, we are put in a situation without association. Then if we are very sincerely still trying to follow rules and regulations, we will be protected by Krishna. Is Janmashmi on 18th or 19th? I answered this, I think, before this technical glitch. Let me answer again. Janmashmi, we are celebrating on 19th, but some people are celebrating on 18th. And this happens with many, many festivals throughout the years. Why this happens? It is because of difference of solar calendar and lunar calendar. Lunar means the motion of moon generates a calendar, and the motion of sun also generates a calendar, and there is difference between the speeds slightly. That is why we have a leap year after every four years or we have Adhik Mas. So sometimes these tithis like Ashtami Tithi is as per the lunar calendar in which we have two portions of waxing and waning moon, Amavas to Purnamasi, Krishna Paksh and Shukla Paksh. So Ashtami means the eighth day of the fortnight. Now this Tithi as per the lunar calendar, it is spanning across two solar days, 18th and 19th of this month. So some people, they calculate as per the Tithi at the time of sunrise. 
and some people calculate during the tithi which is present at the time of sunset so we calculate as per the time the tithi which is there at the time of sunset so sunset when it is happening on 19th the tithi is janmashtami and not on 18th that is why we are celebrating on 19th should we fast on 18th or 19th so we should fast on 19th fasting starts from sunrise it goes on till midnight and yes uh, those who are following krishna consciousness pretty closely and they would like to celebrate the next day also that is also also a fasting day because Srila Prabhupada appeared that is called Vyas Puja day by worshipping spiritual master we worship Vyas Dev the original spiritual master that is why the appearance day of spiritual master is called Vyas Puja when I am worshipping my spiritual master I am actually offering respects uh, to the entire Guru Parampara and ultimately to Vyasa Dev so this Vyas Puja day falls on the next day that is 20th of this month and on that day also we are supposed to fast but this fasting is only till noon. So how do we do it? Previous day is fasting. Fasting also we have to break. So what we do is at midnight we take non-grain prasadam. Non-grain could be some fruits or ekadashi prasadam. And then after breaking our fast with little non-grains, again we fast next day till the noon time. And next day noon time on the appearance day of Srila Prabhupada, which is 20th of this month, then we can have full course grain prasadam. On that day, just like we heard, we read the pastimes of Krishna in Janmashtami, we will try to read and hear the pastimes of Srila Prabhupada. So we have various wonderful biographies of Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada Lilamrita, or we also have Transcendental Diary, other such wonderful biographies are there. So we can read and hear and meditate on the pastimes of Srila Prabhupada. But can we celebrate on both days, 18th or 19th? So... Yes, we can celebrate on both days. Actually, we are supposed to celebrate every day. We can chant and hear always. Smartavyam satatam vishnu vismartavyam jato chet is the principle. Satatam kirtayantum am always chanting is the principle. So this should go on always. But as far as fasting is concerned, which is very important feature of the festival, it can be celebrated on one of the two days because next day we are supposed to break the fast. So that we can observe on 19th. But as far as Shravanam Kirtanam is concerned, we can do every day now onwards, chant and hear always the names of Krishna so that our consciousness is very, very high on the day of Janmashtami. At what time we should do Abhishek? So I think you missed some portion of the lecture. Abhishekam can be done any time and as many times possible if you like. So sometimes just like in Mumbai, uh, in Pawai we celebrate. So we have a relatively smaller setup here. We do not have a permanent temple of our own. We have limited devotees. We take a place, auditorium on rent, there we celebrate. So it affords us the capacity to do Abhishekam just once. So we do it just at midnight. In other places where we have big established temples throughout the day, people keep on coming. We celebrate sometimes on two days also. Entire day Abhishekam will happen. Two times, three times, four times also Abhishekam can happen. So as much as possible, just like in Jagannath Puri, Krishna is not fed just once, twice or thrice in a day. Krishna is given 56 offerings. Before Krishna is able to wash his hands, there is next offering which has come to him. In this way, entire day, twice, thrice, uh, every hour, Krishna is made very nice elaborate offerings. So as much as possible, we can cook for Krishna, we can do Abhijaykam for Krishna, there is no bar at all. Should we apply Chandan to the deity of Lord Vishnu or do we need Gopi Chandan to apply? Anything we can do. We can we apply Gopi Chandan and we can use that sandalwood paste also. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, some people claim that Rama should be recited before Krishna in the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Is it right to chant like that? It does not make any difference here, some people tell, because both versions you will find. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, and Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare also. Now, which mantra to follow? 
So when you chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra, it should be chanted continuously throughout the day. That practice we have to do. This is the way of self-realization. Hare Ranam Eva Kevalam. When we are able to chant Hare Krishna Mantra throughout the day without any cessation, even in our sleep, if our tongue is not chanting, our subtle body, our mind should chant constantly. Then we will be able to realize Krishna. This is the way to make spiritual life successful in this age of Kali Yoga. So when we chant constantly Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, then it does not matter what comes first and what comes later. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Again Hare Krishna comes, after that Hare Rama comes, so it goes on in cycle. What is first and what is second we cannot tell. So actually it is insignificant Prabhupada told. Because when you chant continuously it is the same thing. But then how do we understand what is exact mantra mentioned? So exact mantra as per the Acharyas is, which is mentioned in Kali Santra and Upanishad, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare. But in some versions of even Kali Santran Upanishad, we may find Hare Rama coming first and Hare Krishna coming later. This is because Bhaktisdan Maharaj explains there has been manipulation. So many scriptures have been manipulated because there were so many debates happening, sometimes out of sentiment, sometimes to defeat the other party. There have been many insertions and removal. Thus you will find many many scriptures in which entire chapter is missing or entire chapter has been added or few verses have been inserted, few verses have been removed, they have vanished. So thus it becomes very very difficult to find out which is the bona fide version edition of the scripture. So that is why we should stick to, stick to the Sampradaya. So Bhaktisdan Maharaj explained because of ex influence of some Ramites, the devotees of Lord Ramchandra, uh, this Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare has come before the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. But otherwise, Valdevidya Bhushan and previous Acharyas have mentioned very clearly this mantra in which Hare Krishna comes first and Hare Rama comes later. But this is insignificant because when you chant continuously, it does not matter. Anirban ji Hare Krishna Anjani ji Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Prabhu ji you say that Hare Krishna Mahamantra can be chanted anytime anywhere but then why there is offense to Mahamantra if we chant without concentration very nice question so Hare Krishna Mantra not just can be, it should be chanted at any time. Tatrar pita niyamita smarane nakalaha. But at the same time, we have offenses also if we are inattentive. So, how do we understand? Because during the day, we are supposed to do so many activities. And if we are inattentive, then uh, we will be in difficulty. So, we have to understand this Hare Krishna Mahamantra, he is not different from Krishna. He is Krishna in person. When we chant Krishna, Krishna in person is present. So when we commit offenses against the deity of Krishna or against any other feature of Krishna, those offenses can be counteracted by taking shelter of the holy name of Krishna. So in deity worship, in other rituals, if there is some fault, if we are chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra along with that, those faults can be compensated with. But if there is any fault in chanting Hare Krishna Mantra, those faults are called offenses. And one of the offenses being inattentive while chanting, there is no other way. There is no more merciful manifestation of Krishna than his holy name. Then what do we do in such a situation? We simply serve holy name with due diligence and constantly. So the way to counteract the offenses committed against the holy name of Krishna is serving the holy name of Krishna constantly by chanting 24 hours. So if we are chanting 24 hours Hare Krishna Mahamantra constantly, then we will be able to come to the stage of offenseless chanting. So during the day when our mind is going here and there, still we are able to chant the name of Krishna is very different from when it is time for us to chant and we are thinking of something else. When it is time for us to chant and deliberately we are not willing to hear, but we scroll our news feed or social media feed or TV channels or we are planning our entire day, then that is a deliberate offense. We are not trying to minimize offenses. Just like a small child is there. Small child, uh, it is offensive for a small child to pass stool and urine on the dress of the guests or of his parents. When the child grows up and then he passes stool and urine on his parents, <laughs> that will be a very big offense. That is not supposed to be done. But when the child is small, such an offense is not considered. In a similar fashion, we all will reach 
will reach offenseless stage pure stage by crossing this offensive stage provided we are trying to overcome the offenses the child does not mind okay i was passing stool and urine now also after 15 years i'll pass stool and urine on my parents <laughs> then that is an offense parents cannot tolerate that so deliberate offense i am not trying to be attentive that is an offense but even during other activities where i have to put attention on such activities still i am trying to chant the name of krishna krishna becomes very much pleased and this is not our mental concoction this was noticed by vallabhachare when chaitanya mahaprabhu met vallabhachare he introduced him to vallabhachare was a very great scholar he has got huge following when he was introduced to rup goswami sanatan goswami they were maintaining some distance and uh, vallabhachare wanted to meet them invite them for prasadam but they were maintaining distance so chaitanya mahaprabhu explained actually they don't belong to a good caste they had taken birth in brahmin family but later they accepted service of muslim ruler for some reasons so because of this wrong association they were ostracized from the brahmin community and they were considered also as mohammedans belong because they were not keeping clean standards and other things uh, the people of the other community so they were also belonging to be ostracized from the brahmin community but when vallabhachare noticed something very special about them even though they were standing at a distance they were constantly chanting the names of krishna very beautiful it is described in chaitanya charitamrita so he told brahma anuchu naam grananti ete चातुर्मासरेडी परफॉर्म्ड if they are chanting the names of krishna constantly we are supposed to take bath in so many places of pilgrimage they have finished all such taking bath across the world in all such places of pilgrimage we are supposed to read the vedas they have finished their studies of vedas if they are chanting the names of krishna constantly so if anybody is able to chant the name of krishna is descending constantly on anybody's tongue then he has surpassed all these vedic ritual surus and regulations just like if somebody can do business very nicely he need not go for an mba degree mba is to enable one to become a good businessman in a similar fashion if anybody is chanting the names of krishna constantly all the rules and regulations are surpassed so thus chaitanya mahaprabhu did not tell them oh why you are chanting the names of krishna so many activities you are you are supposed to do no he became very pleased and vallabhachare another scholar became very pleased he recognized they are the most purified personalities similarly there was son of a great devotee and when he was going to pass tool evacuation that time also he was chanting hare krishna mantra and chaitanya mahaprabhu was very pleased and he has mentioned in chaitanya charitamrita khaite shuite these are the concluding descriptions of chaitanya charitamrita even while eating and even while sleeping we are supposed to chant the names of krishna whenever tongue is free we should chant tongue is not free in mind we should chant so this is the recommendation kirtaniya sadahari always we should keep on chanting constantly so when we are doing our work uh still we are chanting the name of krishna this chanting is very very different this not being very attentive is very different from when it is dedicated time for chanting and deliberately we don't try to avoid so deliberately if we don't try to avoid offenses then the same chanting will give rise to material desires in the heart and those those desires will choke up our chanting and bhakti we will desire name fame association of opposite gender wealth and so many other material things so this is a difference between offensive chanting and trying to become offenseless in trying to become offenseless the offensiveness is neglected by krishna krishna becomes very pleased by such a sincere effort of the devotee hari krishna prabhu ji do we need to follow any custom while we read bhagavad gita shloka it is a conversation in sanskrit right yes it's a conversation in sanskrit and uh, we need not follow any custom while we read bhagavad gita but the most important custom is uh, it is customary it is very essential with our heart and soul we should take shelter of a bona fide spiritual master 
By taking shelter of bona fide spiritual master under personal guidance of devotees, we can realize the subject matter of Bhagavad Gita. So this I have elaborately covered in previous two sessions of Ask Among series. And the title is Secret, The Three Secrets to Understand Bhagavad Gita. So please try to watch both the videos in that I have elaborately discussed which conditions we should follow in order to derive maximum benefit out of reading Bhagavad Gita. Can't we celebrate Janmashmi every day? Why we have only one day to celebrate? Very nice question by Ajay Ji. Because we are very engaged in our materialistic affairs. Actually, we have nothing to do but just celebrate. And that is what we do in the temple. Just like somebody asked Prabhupada. Prabhupada, uh, what are we supposed to do on this day? So Prabhupada told it is... <laughs> Uh, somebody asked like, exactly about Guru Purnima. Guru Purnima comes on the appearance day of uh, Maharshi Vedavyas. So he told what we are supposed to do. Prabhupada told what we are supposed to do, we are doing every day, that is Guru Puja. So those people who are not very serious, for them these days are recommended. On this day you fast, on this day you do this Aarti, on this day you read the scriptures, on this day you read 12th chapter of Bhagavad Gita, because that person does not read any chapter. At least on one day one chapter he or she can read. So just like sale, sale is meant for people who are not very serious about the product. If you want a computer for your work, you will purchase immediately without sales. So those people who are knowledgeable, they don't wait, oh, when Karthik Mass will come, then I will follow rules and regulations. Then I'll get up in Brahmurth and take bath and chant the names of Krishna, do 16 rounds. We do it every day. So thus, uh, Guru Purnima, we celebrate every day. We worship our spiritual master every day. We do Abhishekam to our spiritual master every day. We sing and dance every day. Entire day, we have no other business but service of Krishna. We don't plan our happiness, our sense gratification. This is the life of a devotee. But those who are interested in sense gratification, these special days are mentioned. At least on one day you celebrate. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna Hemant. Prabhuji, best time to chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Best time is, we have to chant always as we have discussed, but chanting becomes most effective in Brahm Murta. That starts 90 minutes before sunrise. And after taking bath, if we chant, in front of Tulsi Maharani, if we chant, chanting becomes 1000 times more effective. Or if we chant in the temple, chanting becomes 1000 times more effective. Prabhuji, if we are fasting, can we have prasadam offered to Krishna that day? We can have prasadam offered to Krishna if that prasadam is uh, non-grain and that too after midnight. Till midnight we should try to avoid any grain prasadam and non-grain also unless we are feeling great weakness. Otherwise preserve the offerings and honor it next day afternoon time. Lord Krishna appears only once in a day of Brahma. Then do other incarnations of Vishnu appear more than once to destroy irreligion and establish Dharma? Yes, other incarnations, they appear in greater frequency. Thank you Prabhuji. Certainly I needed to hear your words of wisdom today. Excellent session. Thank you so much for hearing. Dayal Ji, Hare Krishna. Rain Ji, Hare Krishna. Rahul Sarthak Ji, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Prabhu, Dhanvat Pranam, how to pray? A very nice question. So how should we pray? The prayer should be offered following the footsteps of the devotees. So various wonderful prayers are there in the scriptures like Brahma Samhita is there, Ishvara, Parma, Krishna, Satchidananda, Vigraha. Or if you have Bhagavad Gita with yourself, Arjuna is offering prayers to Krishna, then such prayers can be offered. Or if you have Srimad Bhagavatam, then so many endless prayers are there. Prayers of Dhru Maharaj are there. Prayers of Prahlad Maharaj are there. Prayers of Queen Kunti are there. Prayers of the Prachetas are there. Prayers of Lord Shiva are there. Prayers of Akrura are there. So many prayers are there. Prayers of Nagapatnis are there. So many prayers are there. So if we repeat the words of the devotees, that is the best way to offer prayers to Krishna. And when we become pure devotee, then Krishna will inspire from the heart how to speak right words in His glory to offer Him prayers. So as of now, we can try to simply find these prayers 
or if you are in touch with the devotees devotees will share there are many many apps in which uh, the prayers have been chanted if there are sanskrit prayers you can hear then we will get to know how to repeat these otherwise we can chant it is mentioned in english diacritics or hindi vernacular uh, language also thank you prabhu ji very nice session you're most welcome prabhu ji what a student manage bhakti and study i think you are asking how can a student manage bhakti and study so uh, as i always tell what is bhakti when we study for krishna then the study becomes bhakti it is not that study and bhakti are different things what to speak of this thing even the grossest material pleasure that is sex life also becomes bhakti when a person indulges in physical pleasure for producing a krishna conscious child and shila prabhupa spiritual master also told he was a nastik brahmachari from the very beginning till the end of his life last time he was brahmachari but he told if i can produce krishna conscious children which is tough nobody can be assured of it but still we can try by following all the rules and regulations very nicely by chanting 16 rounds regularly honoring only krishna prasadam and on the day of conceiving the child chanting 50 times hare krishna maha mantra there are various rules and regulations on this day of the month such conception should be attempted by the parents in this manner if we try there is a possibility good possibility that we will have but nobody can be assured but bhaktis dan maharaj told if i am assured that i can produce a krishna conscious child i also can marry and produce hundreds of children so thus physical pleasure the sex pleasure krishna tells dharma viruddho bhuteshu kamo asmi bhartar shabha that pleasure is also me so even sexual pleasure can be bhakti if it is done only to produce a krishna conscious child and not for personal gratification in a similar fashion cooking is bhakti if cooking is done for krishna eating is bhakti if eating is honoring krishna prasadam similarly study is bhakti business is bhakti fighting is bhakti if it is done under the guidance of spiritual master for the satisfaction of krishna so for a student it is not that he has to balance between bhakti and his studies study becomes bhakti when he does study so that if i study nicely tomorrow i get good marks i will have a better position people will respect me they will take my advice on their career then if i tell them to follow krishna consciousness there is a good possibility they will follow just like i was talking to some boys from uh, iit here and uh, then i spoke to them about krishna consciousness so he told yes prabhu i am noticing this boy from the time of his coaching he was chanting this hare krishna mantra in kota and eventually he became country topper all india rank 1 and uh, he told not just because of this thing but he was a very nice man indeed and he is chanting so i am very much uh, enthused and i am very much inquisitive i also want to follow in his footsteps when a person successful like him he can top entire country and then he left iit he went to mit and still he is continuing his chanting 16 rounds so i also want to follow this process so thus if the leaders of the society they take to krishna consciousness other people get enthused automatically so thus study very nicely so that we have good position in society of influence so that we can have money by money we need so much of money to afford all these instruments to afford a very nice temple to publish so many books for distribution so in this way with this objective if we study our study becomes bhakti but still there is a balance required the balance is not between vocational duties and bhakti vocational duties are bhakti if done for krishna the balance is there between two very important segments of bhakti and that is seva and sadhana sometimes we may think okay let me study for krishna i have understood prabhu has told very nicely you study nicely and offer the results to krishna i will study from the time i open my eyes till the time i go to bed no we don't have to study or work like that so this our study becomes our seva to krishna but sadhana chanting hearing is very important otherwise we will not be able to maintain this consciousness and material desires will come superficially we will tell i am doing this job for krishna only prabhu i am doing this business for krishna but actually subtly it will be 
to get that name, fame, money or recognition that comes out of business. So in order to maintain this consciousness, we have to do our sadhana very nicely. When we are pure devotees, then we can do just our seva, just like Arjuna. Never formally sat and chanted the name of Krishna because he was a pure devotee. He fought continuously, his fighting was bhakti. He took care of his kingdom very nicely and that was his bhakti. But because we are not pure devotees, we have to have a balance between sadhana and seva. So getting up early in the morning, chanting 16 rounds, following four regulative principles, associating with the devotees, this should never be compromised. This time has to be allocated <clears throat> beg your pardon so time has to be allocated for chanting 16 rounds for reading bhagavatam bhagavad gita visiting temple meeting devotees and doing our business job and studies so balance should not be there between our vocational duties and bhakti everything is bhakti for a devotee balance is there between sadhana and seva <coughs> Hello everyone, Hare Krishna from Brazil. Thank you so much for hearing from Brazil. Please try to spread Krishna consciousness there also as much as possible. Dark Shadow is asking, Prabhuji, what is the best way to study Bhagavad Gita? As I explained our previous two sessions, the three secrets are just about this. So please try to hear, you will have an elaborate answer. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji, Dhanvat Pranam. To preach how to approach people, what should we tell first? Glorification of Krishna, signs of Jivatma, Paramatma, chanting, reading Bhagavad Gita. It depends. Sometimes when devotees devised a mock practice to train devotees in preaching and distributing books, Prabhupada saw the tape and told it is too artificial. But if you can tell them how to become sincere devotees of Krishna, then the teacher from the heart will tell them what to speak first and next because preaching is a dynamic process. Depending upon the other person, different things may strike that person. That is why the preacher is important, otherwise books are there. Prabhupada is present in his books. So everyone can take advantage. One may ask, what is the relevance of preacher? This is the relevance of preacher. Because the same knowledge of Srila Prabhupada books, Krishna's instructions can be presented very nicely in the language which the audience can understand, in the logics which the audience can understand, in the manner audience wishes to engage in the service of Krishna. So thus preaching is a very dynamic activity. And if we are sincere, if you are chanting our rounds very, very sincerely, following four regulatory principles, living in devotee association, then Krishna will guide from the heart what to speak so that other person gets convinced. So all these things can be picked up. Prabhuji, how can I join ISKCON with daily studies? So you can please contact us, drop us a mail. The mail we, are shared, we have shared, Prabhu, in the description. So we can put it over there. So, in the description you will get a mail, you can please contact us, we will let you know how to do it. Prabhuji, when I get up at 4 a.m. after proper 7 hours of sleep, then 7 a.m. onwards I feel very, very sleepy. Yes, this could be because of various reasons. If you are not used to it, the body has gained a momentum, morning time we are feeling sleepy. So, it needs some determination, some effort to remain awake in the morning. But few other things what we can immediately do is have very light meals at night. At night if we had taken late meals, try to take it early, at least two hours before you sleep and our sleeping should not go beyond 9 to 10 because 10 to 12 it is uh, time for cleansing of the liver and other organs of the body. So we maintain very good health if we take rest at that time and this even the westerner uh, biologists have discovered. That body, every cell of the body follows a biological clock that follows the motion of the sun. So if you have to sleep by 9 or 10 at night, then by 7 it's a good time or by 8 it's good time to eat. If it is becoming too late, then eat very very light or you can just have Prabhupada in early days of ISKCON. When our services were very streamlined and regular, devotees will just have milk and banana at night, nothing else. But when so many programs started, there was some... Uh, uh, availability of regular prasadam also at night but otherwise night please take it very very simple as simple as possible then it will be very easy to get up in the morning automatically so please try to do it take very nice meals at night chant Hare Krishna mantra very nicely attentively that also reduces our extra demands for eating 
and if extra demand for eating is controlled then sleeping automatically becomes controlled unless we have controlled our tongue eating we will not be able to minimize sleep so try to control the tongue take only krishna prasadam that also the regular food at night it should be very very light so thank you so much uh, more videos are coming Okay, last question. Prabhu, I am a student and preparing for IIT. So, how much time should I give to Krishna consciousness and how much to studies? Your 16 round should never be compromised. We are preparing for any exam. It does not matter. And along with that, further guidance, you please mail to us. We have many devotees who have uh, cracked this IIT examination or they are studying in IIT or they are alum of IIT. So, they will be happy to guide you personally how to take care of your preparation at the same time chanting and following the Krishna consciousness. So, please do mail to us by following the email ID in the description. Thank you so much for hearing. Please do come to us if you are living around Mumbai on Janmashmi. We will be very glad to have you on Janmashmi and Vyas Puja. And on Vyas Puja Day, the wait is over. We are releasing the sequel to the Empowered Acharya movie. So it's a very wonderful movie. If you have not watched it, please go and watch it. We released it the previous Vyas Puja day. This time we are going to release the sequel. So please try to watch it. Try to share it as much as possible so that everyone can appreciate the glories of Srila Prabhupada. Thank you for hearing. We'll meet next week. Hare Krishna.